Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Today I'm back out on the property. I've got five more trays of trees uh, to take out of the back of the truck here and uh, just get them into the topsoil uh, so that we can uh, winter them and then get them planted in the spring again. Uh, we still have to clear out our field. Uh, we probably won't get to set that on fire. It just rained. Uh, so I need to collect some tools, uh, some shovels and uh, rake and uh, get the land level here so I can put five more containers of trees here. So four containers here now, we're gonna add five more, but I just need to level this area in here to be able to put those five new containers. And uh, this spot over here is is a little low, especially where this uh, black lump is. Um, so I'm gonna go get the shovel the rake. Uh, we'll get this level and then we'll get these trees unloaded. brought the board over because some of these uh, plastic containers are broken so this should help support them while I carry them. Yeah I'm a bit winded. Each of these things weighs about 100 pounds. There's about six or seven gallons worth of dirt in there and they are about 14 inches wide and Forty inches long, give or take. Good lord. Whew. Okay, so I've got nine containers here. Now I'm just gonna put more dirt along the outside edges, and then eventually I'll put up a snow fence around them. <sighs> Good lord. Put up a snow fence around them just to uh, try to keep the animals away, stop them from eating them like they did. A over in our field. I got dirt wrapped all around the plastic um, containers and so they're as protected as they're gonna get for now until we put the snow fence around them. Maybe I'll put a little bit more dirt here in this corner but uh, I think that's it for the trees this year. They look fantastic, right out in the sun. Just laying out a new tray, I'm gonna fill it with dirt. Uh, we have some cedar trees in that at home and I forgot about these guys. So I'm gonna get these guys planted right now and uh, we'll do the cedar trees uh, maybe next weekend. Okay, so I think that was 15 little trees here. Uh, and then this end over here, we've got 23 cedar trees or so at home. We're gonna plant them in here uh, next week. Yep, I hear you already. I shouldn't be trying to move this gravel with uh, a few buckets and shovel uh, and a rake. I should be using the tractor. But it just rained last night and it's really soupy. If I brought the tractor in here, I'd be creating so much rut. So I'm just gonna try to dig up what I can with the, uh, with the shovel and a few buckets and uh, move that over to the trailer. I really wish I had bought a second GoPro. Uh, just backed up to the trailer and dumped those two buckets. I do have more buckets over there, so I'm gonna uh, do four or five, see what we get. I think I'm gonna have to wait on this. I may do a little bit more, but uh, it's heavy. And uh, if I had the tractor over here with the bucket, I could just scrape it in with the shovel and be, a lot faster. Anyway, uh, let's take these over there and get them dumped off. So 
I don't think there's any use in scraping the gravel. I'll just use the rake and the shovel. And, uh, but this is gonna speed things up a lot. Oh my goodness. Yeah, let's just say the tractor is a little bit faster at this than I am. We got a uh, few loads dropped out here. I'm just gonna take a couple minutes and uh, level this. Uh, I should probably be using my, my laser level here, but I don't have it with me. Uh, so I'm just gonna use the shovel and the rake and uh, try to get this a little bit leveled out. What I'm doing this for is to try to level this all off so that I can put up a shelter uh, for the winter. I don't know that I can get that built. I'm gonna put a picture of what I drew here in SketchUp, um, just so you guys have an idea of what it is that I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make this out of six by sixes. Uh, it is uh, 14 feet on the door side, uh, nine feet on the back side. But like I say, I've got to get this kind of all level so that all my pieces are the right size. Uh, in fact, if I had the laser level out here and I knew exactly how high the roof was, I could easily uh, make my post uh, the right length and uh, build the uh, building square. Um, but I'm trying to put up a deck, as you can see, and a roof over the deck and maybe a, um, a little gazebo in here as well. So I haven't drawn that in yet, but uh, that's what I'm up to.
All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. We got a lot of work done today. We got the uh, trees finished planting. Uh, we got the gravel from the garage all moved because uh, we don't need the gravel in the base. We're probably gonna order a few more loads of six inch minus. We have to lift that whole thing up 10 more inches. Uh, we put the A gravel here um, so we can build that building. And then I surrounded it with topsoil so that we can have a berm so that gravel doesn't wash away. Uh, it's gonna pack, so, you know, looks really nice right now, but uh, it's gonna pack and we'll have to add some more and all that. Uh, we'll probably add a little bit more back in here as well, but uh, it looks like it's gonna rain today and I, I didn't think that it was going to. Uh, we've been at this about six hours now, maybe, maybe eight hours, and it started pretty early. Anyway, like I say, that's gonna be it for this one. We are an Amazon affiliate. If you guys click any of our Amazon links down below, we'll receive a small commission uh, if you buy anything within the next 24 hours after clicking them. If you're not a subscriber or following along, we just ask that you hit that subscribe button to follow along. It doesn't cost you a thing and it sure means the world to us. And until the next one, keep living the Northern life. Thanks for watching Living the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.